guys and gals, sweet project cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the DIYer, that's do-it-yourselfer, and simple, simple ways. Today we're talking about redoing your seats, making them look brand new again. I know you've seen some of our other videos on doing leather and that kind of thing for temporary fixes. This is a absolute permanent fix. Now I'm going to go through quite a few things, but on this video series, it's going to take a couple videos to do this. You do not have to take your seats out to do it. You can get drop cloths and Julio, tell them exactly where all this stuff can be found. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Now, thanks Julio, Cesar Chavez. Now what I'm going to share with you, some of you don't have wear spots and bad areas on your seat only in certain places like on the bolster right here uh, some of it um, would be up here on your seat from your seat belt I'm going to share with you those of you who only want to fix small areas on your seat now one of the videos I put out on how to find out the colors of your vehicle your RPO codes to make sure you get the exact color of your seat now this seat is really dirty. The key for us is clean. It's got to be really, really, really clean and I can't stress that enough. But if you want to know how to do this correctly, you've got to watch the entire video. There will be pop-ups and wording that comes up throughout the video that uh, if you miss it, you're going to miss a key part of doing this process. Alright, now on your headrest, you usually find a little hole right here, then over on this side, there's a little tab you push in. So you push that in and it will not come up until you stick a paper clip right in this little hole right here and it'll come right out. Done. Now you pop these caps off if you want to. Just make sure you put the hole back in line with that little pusher right there. But we're not going to right now. All right, now you can see this wear spot here. The material is still there, it's just cracked and corroded away, so it's, it's not good. Now these areas right here where the cracking is in the leather, that's normal as you know. This is the wear spot that I was talking about right here. Some of you may have just a small area that you want to touch up. Here's how you do that and we're going to do that right now so you know how to do it. For those of you with just a small wear area right here, let's do that. Clean it. If it's just a little area, you'll just do that area right there. Somebody painted this seat the complete wrong color. Now you'll take your prep, which is your plastic and leather prep, and you'll spray the area. Say it's just this little area. And then you'll just wipe it off. And I do repeat a lot of things just so you don't miss them. We're going to go with our color. You take your color, which is your cashmere or whatever color you have, and a Q-tip. And you just go over it like this. And you may have to go over it a couple of times. And this will fill in all of your wear spots. Now, that is the actual color of this seat. That's what we're going to paint the whole entire seat is that color right there. Once this is dried, 10 minutes between each coat, three or four coats, it will never come off there because you used the 99%, you used your prep, which is an adhesion promoter. It really makes that color bond and absorb into the leather. That part's done. You've just fixed your wear spot. So now we're gonna take these uh, T20s out. All you do is stick a screwdriver in here, pry back a little bit, and these pop right out. Just like that. And you stick that away. And you can cover that up with tape so that it uh, doesn't get painted. What we do to fix these bad spots like this is something that we've never seen anybody else do but we've done it for years and it works great now if you clean the seat the way i just showed you when we did the small edge touch up right there you will not get this stuff right here to come off 
it will it's there pretty much permanently kind of like maybe their name is permatex for a reason yeah. first thing we're going to do is our 99 percent cleanliness is the key to this process and people say well why do i have to use 99 percent number one it's the best cleaner we've found that's not uh, dangerous to whatever it is you're cleaning. We've used it on everything. The other thing is is that it evaporates very fast and that's what you're looking for. Now we use our adhesion promoter. All right, now what I did was I took an old 303 container and that's usually what we use and we take and cut the piece right here so it's perfectly straight. We laid a straight edge across it with a razor blade and cut it so it's perfectly straight. Perfectly flat on two edges, one wide. And it's very simple. You want the plastic to be slightly flexible and you're going to use it as you would a Bondo spreader. Same idea. Just watch this. And the key to this right here is the glue needs to be at a cooler temperature and the room needs to be at a cooler temperature. You can't do this in the sun. It's got to be cool out. And there's a reason for that because once this starts getting gummy, you'll never get it smooth. And if you want to go from that seam down here, then you will put a bead right down here at the bottom and you'll end up pulling that back. Now watch, here we go. I'm trying to do this from the other side of the seat. And when you pull it back, you'll not press real hard because you're trying to leave a layer on top. And I kind of tilt it back a little bit. It's like that. Now you can see the amount I left on here. So I can go over here to this side do a little bit more and I'm holding it flat and then I peel it up like that now you can go back this way if you want but it's always easier to go with the roll of the seat nice and slow all right now here's a secret on top of using the silicone, you can't have any gloves on when you do this. And of course, the silicone is perfectly safe for you, so don't have any worries. Once it gets to a certain part of its curing, you'll take your thumb and you'll go over it very lightly. And all you're doing is knocking the ridges down that is left from your smooth layout of your silicone. Now watch. And it dulls it down. See that? It's dull. And what you're doing is, I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure on that. And you're just knocking those ridges down. You can't do it any other way. There's no other way to do this. So we'll let that dry and we'll be good to go for paint. I've already cleaned the whole seat with our 99% from the tape this way that way and I'm going to paint it so you can see the difference between the two now if you have no flaws like this but you have these marks right here which is the leather doing its normal thing watch what happens to those areas especially this area right here now you see that little area we touched up right there it looks great all right to remove your handle here you just take your panel tool and you come in right here between the plastic and the metal part and you just pry forward and it comes right off but look at that color how it's coming in it looks really nice it never it'll never come off there i ran over it with some uh 99 rubbing alcohol never took it off there so that's permanent but again as we're letting our area dry here and i'm in about 65 degree weather maybe 60 and you just keep doing this until you're happy with the way it looks. 
But this color up here is more of what the original color was, and this is not by any means. So take a look at what it looks like. Make sure you put your face mask on. Now, the other thing that you can do if you have textured leather, in the kit, this kit right here, they give you all kinds of textures. If you have the leather texture, you can take that leather and lay it on top of the silicone as it's tacky right now. It's, it's not coming off of my fingers, but all you do is you lay the piece on top and barely touch it down and peel it up. And that will put texture, that texture right there into the silicone. You wanna do three light coats between each coat, wait about 10, 15 minutes in 60 to 65 degree weather. Then let it set for 24 hours in the warmest place you have. Let's get the camera up close so you can see it. This is the ultimate way to redo your seating. See how smooth and gorgeous this is? Look at this. There's the overspray. But as I said, it will not come off there if you clean it up right. You've got to get it clean in order for that silicone to bond and it'll be there for life. But that's it. Well, there it is, my friends. Done. Would you not love to have your seat look like that? Seat is over 10 years old, 13 years old actually, and look at it, it looks brand new. And it will last and last, and it will not wear off on your clothes.